Hello and welcome to episode 139 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on making a planter rack and taking a look at us using it. So more of the new content from the latest update. The wonderful world of Worm has got even better and more full of things to slap you down when you are feeling mighty clever. Unless of course you have been watching this series, then there may be hope for you. Now the lovely rainstorm is here with me, well on another continent, but we won't that let that minor detail distract us. She is feeling poorly so I will do rainstorm the courtesy of me doing all the talking. So I hope y'all have plenty of syrup. Anyway, Rainstorm will, we all hope that you will get better soon as Peter, Paul and Mary are getting quite lonely. So what is a planter rack? Well, here is a description from the wonderful Wormpedia. A rack to store herbs and spice planters in. Used to store pottery planters in one place for easy access. So you're probably all saying, Gamester, you imbecile, why on earth are you making an episode on a planter rack? Well, this rack, my friends, is even better than the last rack. And the last rack was, if I just quickly flip and check was the large storage unit. It actually weren't called a rack, it was called a unit, but in the same vein it stores items within it. So with the planter rack it has more use though than the storage large storage unit. With the large storage unit, as you know, you could store your large items like your fishing pole and your barding, but with the um, planter rack it has additional bonuses. So let's turn my screen around and give you an immediate demonstration of one fantastic use for the planter rack. Check that out. So over here you can see a big pile of mess. No that's not me enjoying myself. That is just going to be used for a demonstration for the usefulness of this planter rack. Now Thankfully, the lovely rain, uh, well, rainstorm is on a snowstorm at the moment, so as long as you appreciate that is rainstorm standing over there. But thankfully, rainstorm made all of this, oh, there you go, she is going to say hello, but with her avatar. Okay, so if I open up this pile of uh, items, you'll see that rainstorm has very kindly put all the items I need in order to make the uh, planter rack. Okay, so to make the planter rack, you will use the carpentry skill. And the total materials needed in order to make it are four planks, one wooden beam, and one large nail. So you're probably wondering, well, why have I got two large nails? Well, I will get to that. Um, let's just quickly, though, select all of these and grab them because we'll be needing them. So that's the total materials needed in order to make a planter rack. The weight of the rack when it is complete is 6.50 kilograms for those of you interested in weights and measures. Okay, so next here's some notes on the planter rack. It can be planted, it cannot be mailed, can hold up to 30 pottery planters, hence why you're seeing this immense me mess in front of me, can be picked up whether it is full or it is empty. So let's see how many of these I can pick up because I'm actually going to make this rack against this wall here. So let's pick up the ones that are going to be blocking our path. So up until now you, you know that I did a previous episode on a pottery planter and so you could decorate your deeds with them but for some of you now you can actually use them to grow spices and herbs in them so they have a much more functional use than looking pretty and this again was with this latest content update so now not only can we use these pottery planters for growing all types of different crops but we can condense them into a tiny little storage area now how fantastic is that and we're going to take a look just at that so i'm just filling up my pocket here 
Brainstorm was mad with me because she's going to have to destroy all of these. But she could keep them in the, in the planter rack. I didn't, did in a way, like all this mess. I thought it gave it character, this yard out here. But I don't think Rainstorm would have been happy with that somehow. She knows I'm usually very tidy and efficient. And I'm not trying to provoke her into talking. No, not at all. So anyway, we've nearly picked all these up. Two more. Right, there we go. So it looks all nice and tidy. Let's make this rack. Okay, so same as before, you will stand next to the wall. And because of the way that I'm standing, it will place the rack adjacent to this uh, wall here. And it will be facing the correct way, which is facing this way. So it's going to face that way once I place it. But it's also going to be against the wall. So bear that in mind if you're ever making racks or units in the future. Stand next to the wall like this and it will place it down and face it across that direction. Okay? Right, next, in order to make this rack get it started, I'm going to show you first with the old style, old school way. And then we will use the uh, recipe window, if I can find it. Uh, let's just minimize that let's bring that over to there and put that back up there okay so we can use the recipe window right so the old school way to get started is to activate a large nail right click on a wooden beam go to create container and you will see planter rack now as you can see my percent chance to create the planter rack is 98 percent that's using a 68 quality nail if i was to use a quality level one nail it would drop down to 70 percent now if your skill when you get your carpentry skill to level 30 you can then start to make the uh, this this planter rack and if you use a quality one nail then it will be lower than what I'm showing you because remember my skill in carpentry is what's my skill on in carpentry let's have a quick look my skills are 80 so bear that in mind if you're not been playing worm long and your skills only at 30 then you're probably gonna have a much lower percent chance I can't remember exactly what it was snowstorm did tell me but I think it's around the 50s or something percent chance of making it Anyway, let's now go switch to the recipe window and make it that way. So let's bring this up. Let's type in here um, planter rack. In fact, there you go, that's enough, just need plan. And here's the planter rack. So if we extend to expand that, you'll see it's using the carpentry skill and here's the materials I've already listed to you. Four planks, one beam, one large nail. So we'll add that to the crafting window and check that it is the rack, it is, and now we'll click create. Right, okay, so we'll close that. We'll now right click on this, add to the crafting window, and let's add the planks. Oops, let's get rid of that. That's just confusing me, and I really don't need confusing. So we'll add the planks and whack that up to four and continue. And there we go. Right, let's take a look at it, shall we? So if I step out here, there you go. That's what a basic, oops, let's close that skill window. There's your basic planter rack. But of course, it's not going to be any good to you like that. The whole purpose of this, and I'm going to target those out there among you, which like to grow things and be creative. The fun begins when you right click on it and click open. Now it acts as what the purpose that we designed it for, that we made it for as a storage. So let's find these 30 pottery planters and we're gonna drop them in there. So that is the maximum amount that you can put in there. 
Okay, you can't fit no more than 30. There's your lot. So what's the purpose of this then? So we've got these 30 pottery planters in there. Why would we do that? You're probably asking. And do you see the graphic change now? So it shows all the pottery planters. Now, how, how fantastic is that? I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? That was just an empty rack. I put them in and now it's populated with these. That's just really cool. But anyway, let's walk around this corner and see something else that Rainstorm's been busy with. She's made one previously. And what she's also done... Yeah, I expect at some point in the future they may even update this to show empty pots. And once you actually plant something in them, to show the plants that are inside them. But anyway, let's right click on this one. Let's open it up and take a look. So in here, you can see Rainstorm's been pretty busy. She's been she's planted a belladonna, a lovage, parsley, sage, rosemary, rosemary, etc. How do you plant then once you have your pottery planters in your rack? So let's go back to this one. Oh, what's that? Are you giving me something? Are you okay? Ah, you're going to give me some seeds. Thank you. How do you get seeds? You're wondering. Well, you have to forage. For the plants and from the plants you pick the seeds thank you uh, rainstorm okay so let's go back to this um, this rack where I've just put 30 plant pots into it let's right click open it up so how do we plant into them then okay well let's expand this to plant into your pottery planters you activate the spice or herb that you want to plant so let's do a few so activate your first one, double click, it's activated. Right click on a pottery planter and choose plant fresh thyme or whatever herb or spice you're planting. And there you go. Do you get any skill for that? But of course you do. This is worm. It rewards you for everything if it's not giving you a slap or a kick in the privates. Okay, so let's go back to here. <clears throat> Next we're gonna plant some cumin. So activate it, right click, and plant fresh cumin. Okay, so if we look at the bottom here, you can see now that the pottery planters have the herbs in brackets. Okay, let's now do a fennel seed. And let's do some parsley. So remember before, if you wanted to do this, you'd have to have all of these pottery planters all scattered around. Um, I mean, if you was doing it in a farm style way, as in like nine tiles, three by three all together, and that's where you used to plant your potatoes or your cotton, or, or you switched to just having 30 plant what a mess it would have made but now look at this all contained within this one planter rack and here's the best bit look at the space it takes up here's a tile and you can see it's taking up what 10 percent of the tile space how fantastic is that so you can now grow you could like have one there and one here i'm not sure exactly how many you can fit on one tile i've not tried that yet me and rainstorm will have to do some experimenting to see if there's a limit to how many you can fit per tile but if you could fit more than one even on a tile that would just be absolutely brilliant because then you can get serious growing now if you're playing worm online this means your shop is open for business big time because you can grow a serious amount of herbs and then you can build yourself a massive warehouse. So that's planting the different uh, crops that you can plant, you know, spices and herbs. Let how do you how do you harvest then what you sow? So let's go back to this one and let's give a demonstration. So what you do, right click and open up your rack choose one of your herbs now the way what you've got to remember with this is these have growing cycles just like your potato crops and your cotton plants and all the fruit trees as soon as you plant them you cannot harvest 
Just like Mother Nature, you have to give it time and they gradually grow. The same applies to the pottery planters and the herbs. You plant them down and to demonstrate this, let's just go back to this one. Let's open it up. Now if I right click on one of these that I've planted, you will see there is no option to pick. But, however, if I switch back to the rack that's around this corner, and if I right click on the parsley or the lovage, you'll notice now there is an option to pick because that plant has had time to grow. Rainstorm planted that, allowing enough time before I recorded this episode so I could demonstrate. So let's left click. And as you can see now, I've got some fresh lovage. And those that are observant among you will notice that there is still lovage planted in the pottery planter. So no need to have to keep replanting. Once you've planted, providing it doesn't take damage off deed and the pottery planter gets destroyed, you're always going to be growing that plant in there. So what do you do with this lovage that you've picked? Well, when you right click on it, Oh, okay, you don't get that option with that. Let's try with something else. What I'm trying to show you here is that you can pick seeds. But I'm not sure if we've got the right crop to do that with. Let's do the ginger. So let's pick that. And let's see, do we get an option to... Hmm. Let's try something else then. Let's see if the paprika. Let's pick that. There we go. That's what I was trying to demonstrate to you. So with the so you're probably saying now, okay, so that's how we can get paprika by picking the seeds. Well, that's one way you can get the seeds. Another way, of course, is going and foraging and botanizing. Um, see, I, I can't remember whether it's botanize or forage. One of them gets you all of the herbs and spices. As well, you know, in the past when you've been getting lovage and thyme and rosemary and sage, that's always been there. But now, of course, there's a special option, but I'm gonna have a separate ep episode just on that. And it will be a good one. So getting back though to this, let's pick some more and see which ones allow us. So with the fresh paprika, if I now pick seeds, you'll see it's turned it into a seed. What can I do with that? Well, if I double click and activate it, I can now plant it in this other one. So now I'm going to be getting twice the amount of paprika per harvest. So I'm going to choose plant paprika seed. And there we go. Now how cool is that? So we now have an indefinite, uh, an unlimited amount of paprika because we can keep picking and planting. Okay, let's pick some turmeric. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> you can see that we can pick seeds from that. Um, with the ginger, I don't think we got the option to, no. So that one you'll be botanizing or foraging for the ginger. Let's try the, have I done cumin? No, I haven't, so let's try the cumin. Okay, so you don't get an option with that. Remember, the purpose of all of these wonderful plants, herbs and spices is, there's been a massive cooking update as well, you know, and this is paving the way to some of these new cooking recipes. So what I'm really doing here is preparing you for later episodes, and they will be good ones, because we will need these plants, these spices, these herbs, in order to cook some of the new foods, which is connected to this window up here. Can you see all the wonderful little colors? We got purple, we got blue, we got yellow, and we got green. Well, I'm not even gonna attempt to explain anything, any of that. I'm not even gonna go there. 
um, because I've learned a valuable lesson over doing this last year of worm episodes and that's not to rush in too deep with too many things at the same time so I'm dissecting it all we're taking it a slow st step at a time just like Treebeard always does so here we what we're accom accomplishing here is how you can grow and harvest your crops ready for later episodes right okay I think that really is all the waffle I am possibly capable of capable of in this one day um, I don't think there's anything else. see normally I'd say rainstorm is there anything that you think needs to be added or do you have anything to add but of course poor rainstorm's not feeling well so I'm not gonna um, embarrass her by getting her to croak uh, well with the squeaky voice or however her voice sounds I will <laughs> I will simply say thank you very much Rainstorm for all your help with all the preparation of building this rack and getting me the materials to make the other rack and getting all the herbs and planting all the herbs. I mean you people don't realise how much time is put into making these episodes but the one thing I do know is you appreciate them and so that is why Rainstorm and me enjoy doing this. But anyway thank you Rainstorm for all your hard work today on this episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.